Today I thought we'd do something different. Let's do some pallet knife work and turn a lovely landscape with a bit of water. Nice. As I said in the introduction, we are going to do a landscape. Yeah, we're going to do a tree, some water, or some reflections, just using a palette knife. Let's have a bit of fun. What have I got on my palette? Um, well, as you can see, I've got a couple of colours. They're all listed there for you. And um, we're going to be using a palette knife today. There we go. A palette knife. Maybe a couple of palette knives, but who knows. Now, if you've got a heavy body paint, you can use that, or you can use a little bit of... Um, what have I got here? We've got some um, modeling paste. You can chuck a little bit of that in and see if it works. But what I got, if you want to pop along to my website, is some thickening agent. And that's what I use, as you can see, to thicken up my paints. How thick is that? Lovely. So that's all I'm going to do is I'm, I've thickened up the colors that are on the palette. And I'm just going to add that red to the palette now. There we go. And this is going to be my mixing station there. So if you want to pop along to the website, www.clive5art.co.uk, and there you will see um, my thickening agent. So give it a try. Okay, so what have I got today? I've got a 10 by 8. That's a 254 by 203 millimeter canvas. It's not gessoed. It's primed directly from the manufacturer. Priming is just basically an undercoat. It is not gesso. This has still got grease on it. Um, it it's not very absorbent. Um, and it, it just spoils your, 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 your paint all together. So I recommend you at least do uh, two coats of gesso on this canvas. Uh, in this instance, I'm not going to bother. Uh, this happens to be a Windsor & Newton canvas. Uh, there are other manufacturers out of there. So use whatever you've got to hand. Um, I'm using this unprimed. With, I mean unprimed with gesso because, well, there's no need, I don't think. So I'm going to get a little bit of white. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white by there. On my mixing station and I'm just going to get a touch of blue and I've already pre-thickened these and I want to get a nice light blue and I'm mixing that together like that that looks quite nice let's pick up paint up and let's just spread that on the canvas like this no don't be afraid now the reason I'm using um the reason I'm using a smaller canvas uh, is because it makes life a lot easier for you. A little bit of white, a little bit of white. Makes life a lot easier for you. Um, because if you're going to work on a big canvas, until you get used to using knives and things like that, or even brushes, um, always practice on a small canvas first. That's what I suggest you do. Yes, let's have a look at that. Is that look? It's a bit bright. Oh. Hope I haven't darkened that too much now. I just altered the exposure on my camera just a touch. Bring in a little bit more blue. Bring in a little bit more blue. And then just darken up a little bit of sky. Just leave some marks like that. Don't worry about you. We're going to put a tree or something by there. Let's get a little bit more white. And just add a touch of blue to that. Just get a bit of blue just here. Now if you've got oil paints you can use you can use um palette knives with oils as well if you want to. That's fine also. Whatever works for you, I think. But it's nice to experiment. Don't worry about little bits of canvas showing through. That in, in fact helps the the old thing. And um I quite like playing with a palette knife occasionally. I'm using quite a big palette knife in this instance. Why I don't know. I just try try making try picking something up. So I'd pick a palette knife up. And you think, oh, that's awkward to use, and then try using it. Tip, because if you can work with something you're not happy with, then it's going to turn out fine, isn't it? Because you're using something you're not happy with, and if you can get a result like that, well, what are you going to do if you've got something in your hand that you are happy with using? That's how I look at it. Spread it in, spread it in. Let's get those patterns showing through now the good thing with this is let's just get skim let's just get skim <laughs> let's get some clouds in there like that just look some fluffy clouds fluffy clouds doesn't matter what it looks like cleaning the palette knife off picking up some white just put some clouds in there you go 
blending that in the bottom there like that just get a bit of shadow in those clouds there you go well, the, the good thing is with this is that we can dry this off with a hairdryer so if we want to put yellow there now if we put yellow there that's going to go green isn't it that's going to go green but um you know you don't green in the sky if you can help it you don't want green in the sky if you can help it that's not nice but for this instance i'm going to do that i'm just going to put a little bit of yellow <laughs> i'm going to get a bit of yellow i'm going to put a bit of yellow there i'm going to get a bit of white to it i'm going to whiten that up just a touch and why not let's just put a bit of yellow in a little bit of red i've got a bit of red left on my palette but there let's just get a bit of red just on the tip of my palette brush knife brush it can be a knife as well if you wanted to let's put a bit of red in there we go a bit more yellow Pulling that down like that. It's a bit more yellow over here. So I'll let some of that canvas show through. So in, I'm not turning my yellow paint um, green because I'm letting a little bit of that canvas show through. It looks like there's possibly some clouds there. Who knows? Putting a little bit of red in, mixing that into like an orange. A little bit of that red just to come down like that. Right, let's clean that palette knife off. Let's get a nice bit of yellow, white. Would be white. Clive is white. Okay, let's get a bit of white. And let's just put a, a circle like that. There you go, a bit of circle like that. Getting a little bit of white. And some clouds in. Don't worry, you can always mix up a little bit more paint if you want to. Some clouds in there like that. Get a bit of yellow. Under those clouds, a bit of colour, a little bit of reflection, just, just very, very lightly, here and there, like that. What are we looking? What are we looking? Well, we got something coming in there, haven't we? Let's get a little bit of reflection coming down. Just a bit of white. Just a bit of white. Now we're going to put some more blue down here in a minute. We certainly are. I want a reflection of that. There. Okay, so let's get a little bit of... Let's get... I've got yellow there. Let's get a touch of black. Uh, this is Mars black. A bit more yellow. Bit of black. Don't want too much black. Like a dark green, a bit more yellow. Let's just lighten that up. On the tip of that, on the tip of that brush. Let's just put some distant foliage. Just some distant foliage. There. Like that. Bring that down. A little bit of distant foliage, maybe some trees, bushes, I don't know. What do they look like to you? A mess. <laughs> what do they look like to you? A mess. Let's just add a bit more yellow to that. Now, if you wanted to make this look more like oil paint, I'll tell you what you could do. I'll tell you what you could do. You could add some glazing medium. That's that one there. 
uh, you can you can get that or you can get it in that bottle as well um, one is this one's slightly cheaper than the other one the other one is more of a master acrylics um, for professionals yes so if you think you're a professional spend an extra four pound on something <laughs> makes you makes you professional <laughs> yes it certainly does well, it doesn't really but you know what I'm saying but a little bit of I'm just going to lighten that up just a bit more just in a background like that just make it look as if it's some sort of a water thing reflection I don't know let's get some let's wash just give our palette button knife a, just a quick little rinse in some water I just want to wipe the palette knife clean because I want to go back into some white back into that blue touch more blue touch more blue I'll load in a lot of pal uh, knife uh, paint on my palette knife so I'm just going to bring a bit of reflection now like as if it's a bit of water there allowing the cameras to show through it adds to the illusion it adds to the illusion that you don't have to paint all the canvas that's what a lot of people make a mistake sometimes it's nice just to see a bit of canvas I like seeing a bit of canvas coming through. I think it adds to the painting. You might not like that, but if you don't like it, then don't put it in. That's fine. Also, a bit more blue, a bit more white. I have to get some more white in my palette in a second. I underestimated the amount of white that I needed for this, um, as I'm used to painting with paints rather than uh, uh, paintbrushes rather than palette knives so sometimes you need a little bit more paint than you think but que sera, sera as they say yes que sera, sera. a bit of color down there now a bit more a bit more color a bit more texture coming in there just gonna go through on a on the side got a little roll of paint on the side of that and i'm just gonna put in some, oops, put in some reflections like that. Can't make a mistake. Don't worry about it. There you are. Rub it in like that. Who knows? Who cares? I don't care. As long as it works, it works. That's, that's the thing. As long as it works, it works. Doesn't matter if this goes a bit green here now because we got some trees coming in here in a second. There we go. So before we do that, let's get some, let's get some burnt umber. There we go, and a little bit of black to it. Let's just darken that up. The burnt umber and a bit of black. I don't know if you can see that on there. And we put it on here. There we go. Let's put it on here. I've got to be careful I don't break my greaseproof paper. There you go. You can use a little handheld palette for this if you wanted to, a bit like the Bob Ross type of thing. But be careful because they do dry very, very quickly. So let's just put some shapes in here yeah, like this. Still using the same palette knife. Still using the same palette knife. Let's been another possible bit of land or something coming up there like that there you go can make it a little bit darker in there there you go we could put uh, I tell you what we could do let's just clean our palette knife off let's just put some um, let's put some yellow 
let's just put some yellowy colors there like this I don't know let's get a little bit of blue what's blue and yellow gonna do well, it's gonna turn green so we need to put a bit of that in there like this mix it up a bit more blue a bit more darker color Get a little bit of that yellow colour and bring that down into the water area. Bit of yellow, it's on the tip of that, on the edge of that. Brush, brush, it's not a brush, I keep saying brush because I'm so used to using um, brushes and things, so please forgive me if I keep saying brush. It's a palette knife. Let's get a little bit of um, burnt amber there, a bit more yellow. I want to bring some more yellow in here. Let's just bring a little bit of light. Again, nice roll of paint. Just across that edge there. Let's get some yellow. Um, let's get some yellow. A bit of more white. I'm going to just get a little bit of titanium white onto my palette. In fact, I don't think I'm going to thicken this one up. Because there should be enough in that yellow there. I just want to lighten that yellow up. A bit of red. red. bit of red oh, let's just bring some little marks and there let's do um Let's get some dark green in. Let's get some dark green. We need more yellow, Clive. So let's get a little bit more yellow onto the palette. I'm just going to clean down my palette knife. I'm going to pick up some of my pick up some of my thickening agent. I'm just going to thicken that up. There we go. I always use little bits of paint at a time. It's that that's important that you do that because you know then you can you're not wasting paint. And that's the last thing you want to do is is waste paint. And let's just get a bit of black in there. Black Mars black has got blue as you've heard me say before. Mars black has got blue in it, so it can make a lovely green. There we are, let's just get some. Nice. Green. Foliage patterns in there like that. In fact, let's make a lot more of that. I think I like that colour. It's like I like that colour a lot. Let it leave it marbled. 
I'll leave it marbled. If you want, if it's got a marbly effect on it. Sometimes it's it's good to leave it marbled. Let a little bit of that light show through. Let's get a little bit of. Essence of trees and things coming through there. Let's get a bit more yellow. Lighten that up. just clean my palette a bit of water because water will dissolve acrylic paint because it's water soluble and we just clean our palette off very quickly more yellow clive let's just put some yellow there I'm just going to use the yellow as it is um, I'm just going to get a bit of yellow there because this black has already got the thickening agent in it so that's going to thicken it up anyway there we go check that for color that's too much the same so we need we need a lot more yellow Boop. plop it in just have fun, make a mess. When we were kids, we didn't care, did we? No, we just made a mess and had fun. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, you shouldn't use a palette knife like this. You shouldn't use a palette knife like that. You shouldn't use a brush this this way. You shouldn't use a brush that way. Who cares? Who writes these rules? There's no rules in art. As long as it works, it's fine. That's what it's all about. Just have fun. Don't worry if you're going to... If you know, oh, I shouldn't be doing this, I shouldn't be doing that. Of course you can. Have fun make fun enjoy enjoy the process this was all about enjoying the process let's get a little bit more light in here like this right make a lighter tone think of contrast that's what you've got to do is get a think of contrast just lighten that yellow up There we go. Put it all on nice and thick. Nicely done. Nicely done. Put something in the background there like that. Let's get a little bit of black on your brush. Mix a bit of that in. It's not a brush, Clive. I keep saying brush. It's not a brush, is it? No, it's not. We can have. We could use a brush in a second. Why not? Let's use a brush in a second, shall we? Let's just change it up a bit. I'm just going to pick up some of this yellow that's on my palette. And I'm just going to put in a bit of light like this. Put a few lighter ones over there. A few light ones here like that. Wow. Let's get some green down here now. Let's just put some... Let's put some grass or something down here. Just let the brush. It's not a brush. <laughs> it's a palette knife. <laughs> let your palette knife just scag across like this. Like, put it down like that. Shh. Shh. Like that. Get a little bit of white. Just put a little watermark like that. Edge that off a bit and then put some marks in. Put some twigs in here like that. Let's put in some lines like that. Doesn't matter what they look like. There you go. How's that look? It's, it's, it's come in. It's come in. It is come in. Trust me, it is come in. <laughs> I hope it is anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's have a bit of fun now. 
I'm just going to pick up any detail brush. It doesn't really matter what detail brush it is. I'm just going to, I just wet that down a little bit. I'm just picking up some, my burnt umber. I'm going to go into a little bit of Mars black like that. And I'm just going to put in, try and put in an almighty tree trunk. Now, because this, paint is thick we might be able to have a might have a little bit of difficulty just drawing in because we've got to go over that green we could put it in with a palette knife I'll show you how to do that in just a second there we are right, let's just chuck that down let me get a palette knife we could do the same thing with a palette knife actually picking up a another type of palette knife I got a little bit of all the paint just on the edge of that and I'm just gonna go in and why not? Let's just pull in this, this tree trunk like that. There we are. If it doesn't work, don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't stress. Let's get a bit of yellow. Let's get a bit of yellow on that. Just put a bit of highlight on it like that. Look. It doesn't matter if it's green. It could be moss, couldn't it? Who cares? I don't mind. As long as it looks right, it doesn't matter. Get a little bit of yellow. A bit of white. Let's get a bit of white. Just put a bit of white. Just on that edge like that. There you go. Doesn't matter. A bit of white down there like that. You can see some trees there, can't you? I can see some trees there. You might not be able to, but I certainly can. Um, let's put a branch up there like that. Yeah, big thick branch. It is now. Big thick branch coming out. There you go. The tree trunk. Don't forget branches and trunks. They can grow anywhere they want. They can be big, they can be thick, they can be almighty trunks. All depends how the almighty made these things. We could have another one just going up there like that. Could have another one. Let's get a bit more paint on my brush, on my palette knife. It's not a palette, it's not a brush, Clive, it's a palette knife. Just little marks make it look as if they're just representing some branches. You can pick up a little bit of paint to put in a few more little branches here, twiggly bits, a couple of leaves. There we go. Oh look, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not too fussy with that sun over there, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what we could do. We could do. Um, let me think. Let's get a bit of. Let's get a bit of red. And a little bit of this black. Let's just darken that. Down a touch. 
let's just put a little cloud just go in front of that like that yeah it's just picked up a bit of a silhouette cloud type of thing <laughs> what a fun way to paint what a fun painting to have what a fun painting to do in fact and, and I think it's it's wonderful to just play like this and sometimes I can spend hours doing lessons on paintings and sometimes I just just sit down and and I think to myself who minds I don't mind this is all about painting away the stress of everyday life with myself in Wales and if it works and it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Who minds? Who writes the rule book in art? Well, I don't know. And if I knew that lesson, that um, if I knew that, then I'd be preaching lessons instead of just sitting back and relaxing and, and having fun. But who cares? As long as it works, and as long as it, whatever whatever you want to paint comes out and it works fine, and that's the most important thing. As long as you've had fun, then that's all that counts really, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Let's get a bit of let's get a bit of light green just on the tip of my brush and let's just put a few You're there and everywhere like that. Let's get a bit of white. Just mix up some colour on your brush now. Who knows? Just Put a few little highlights here and there and there and here and just pull some paint through just to add a little bit of contrast here and there and who knows a little, tiny little masterpiece like that if you've never done it before have a little try there's a little bird. I was going to put a little bird in. Anyway, what do you think? I think that is a nice, easy, simple, practice painting. Have a go. And don't worry about what it looks like. As long as you've achieved something. And, and, and I'm sure you can do a lot better job than I have done there. And I'm sure you're going to have more fun than I have done there. Um, and, and, and I just... I'm quite happy with that for what it is. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Have a good day, good week, a good month, a good year. And thank you for painting away the stress of everyday life here in Wales with me. And I will see you on the next one. Nice. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe.